I'm Jay Jones here inside the dealer's room of Acon 25. Here we're showing off some of the best dealers in the country from anime to t shirts, everything in between. We're gonna walk through here. You can walk through here. Notice we have every every style or substance that you could ever think of, from the family friendly to the uh, not safe for work. These dealers spend hours on hours on end setting up all these beautiful booths that you see here. Tons of posters. To me, the dealers are what makes this and any other con go around so that people have all the materials they want for their next costume or the comic they want to read for a long time or find a dealer that they want to you know want to work with so yes we literally have every type of thing you could think of So we walk through here. Our dealers are awesome. And our car goers are equally as awesome. Tons and tons of swords here. I've seen more swords at this con than I've seen at any other shop. It's just a bevy of swords. So, if you're okay with being on camera. He's the man you want. This is his, his show. I'll ask, I'll ask you a question then. Good. That's what we love. Okay. Most expensive sword you have. Already sold it. Already sold it? Like oh my. It yeah. was a Damascus full steel sword. That was most expensive. Uh, and the European one was probably, we had a European with a couple of European ones for like $400. And they were normally $900 swords. Uh, made by Paul Short and we proposed it and sold those. Uh, awesome. can go up to several thousand dollars. Uh, everybody who collects is collecting wants to go up to as real as possible. So that's why some of those high-end ones go. They start with stainless steel, they do wood, stainless steel, and carbon, they eventually get Damascus steel, then they want folded steel. Right. Some of the ones that have more money will actually get the real thing. Uh, like a lot of shows I go to, I'll sell antique weapons. My wife is at a show right now. She has a World War II Japan, World War II with Japanese officers. The last show was that I had a Confederate officer sword. I had a, a one for the 1600s on the show. And one of the advantages of that is the person could see the real thing. Right. It was a copy. You see how close is that. Or if you want to buy the real thing, you have it. Not just real, but you. But my wife and I have done the business 46 years. And uh, about 20 shows a year, we've been done a night show. So, Pretty much everyone at that show is selling real weapons. I mean, not just real, but old. So that's kind of what Awesome to have y'all here. It's always good to see this big booth of swords and stuff. Awesome to have you here. We'll look around, as you can see, we're going around. We have everything you can think of 
In terms of old-fashioned stuff, like this booth right here, we'll walk through to the next aisle. Thousands upon thousands of people shop here. And with good reason. We'll walk around here. As you can see, there's tons of posters. Have little badges. Okay, check out these badges. I didn't think there'd be so many badges, but there actually are that many badges here. Got figurines, wigs, lots of manga, lots of art. Have uniforms. I just noticed the uniforms. Walk through here. You hear the sights and sounds of Akon. Walk right through here. In fact, earlier today we had Yaya Han here at this booth right here. So, whoa, everyone in line. Yep. As we continue to walk through here. You can see there's any type of fancy you can think of, they have it here in our dealer's room. Honestly, dealers are what make cons go round. Because without them, people wouldn't love what they love. But we're not alone, because we have exhibitors as well. In fact, we have Funimation. Remember, you should be watching. Tons of exhibitors. Some of the best cosplay I've seen anywhere. Collector, collector pieces that are apparently being sold out. Crunchyroll. A great distributor of anime and J drama. Not to be confused with me. Tons of stuff being sold. People buying all over. And that's what we love. Ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to end our weekend here because this is where it's at. This is where I've been stationed. And I, I gotta tell you, it's the best experience you'll ever get. So we leave you with the sights and sounds of Akon. The next time you'll see us, it's on Jay Don't Fly Friday, season three premieres September 5th. On jdon'tflystudios.com. But for now, from Dallas, we'll see you later. <laughs>